the evaluate when I call the evaluate ask this person what is your favorite uh, breakfast item he said it's pongal because when he was in college they used to serve pongal on Mondays pongal <laughs> I am the TMOD, whatever I put out is the conversation. Because, yeah, whatever. So, when when he has that, now I will not say that, when he has that, he gets those memories back and that's why he loves that food itself. Please welcome the first evaluator for those masters should be. Today, a uh, wonderful speech by uh, Toastmaster Suthi. Uh, when it comes to icebreaker, what do we generally expect? We expect to know more about this member because this is the first speech he or she will be giving in the club. Why should we know more about this member? Is to know their interest so that we can strike a conversation that is relatable to them. So that way your speech was like a functional food, like a spot and sambar rice. Right? Very functional. It neatly ticked the box that you we learned about you more, where you are from, uh, what kind you know you are your father, mother and uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, transferable job your father had and uh, how it exposed you to a variety of uh, experiences that you have had. So, what I love about your speech, two things specifically. Number one, your fluency. Like uh, the Toastmaster of the day mentioned, uh, I have to remind everyone that it is an icebreaker speech because it doesn't sound like an icebreaker speech. It was like a professional speech, speaker giving a speech. So, second thing that I loved about your speech was the theme. Uh, that you chose to give your icebreaker, which is like a travel of uh, you chose a travel yeah, and then you, you took us through a journey. Uh, that is the second thing that I love about your speech, especially when you started talking about uh, your uh, uh, your expertise, the 20 days paid vacation, all that was you know, visually appealing. Now to make this uh, Spartan Sambar rice uh, more delicious and sumptuous, uh, we need to garnish it with a little bit of tarka. Right? Let's see what the tarka is. Two very specific recommendations. Very specific. Uh, recommendation number one uh, when we go to a movie, uh, let's say the protagonist enters the scene after the interval or towards the end. By the time the audience would have lost all the interest. Right? So, it is so much important to edit the speech. Uh, so when you edit a speech, if, you know, the first 30 seconds of the speech is so much important, so much important because that is when you grab the audience's attention. So if you make use of that first 30 seconds to open it with a bang, uh, you would have caught the audience's attention. That is something that you can uh, try in the next speech. Do this specific recommendation, take the help of a mentor. Uh, write the speech. Give it to your mentor. When the help is available in a forum like Toastmasters, we should grab it with both our hands. Uh, second thing that could have been better is structure. Right? Uh, so generally, an icebreaker uh, goes with you know depth, you know two two ways to structure a icebreaker. Number one is chronological sequence, uh, and then second thing is take some three or two or three defining moments in your life and talk about them. Uh, so, this would have made the structure, uh, the speech even more memorable. So, to summarize, uh, your speech was served very well with a lot of fluency and innovate, innovative theme. Uh, it would have been better if it is edited well and a structure is given to that. So, over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Ashok. Uh, let me call upon the evaluator 